All right, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. And I know this is a double upload day because I did upload a video a couple of hours ago, but we did just get the community calendar for September. And we do have a couple of things to go over in just a second. So we will get to all the events for the month as well as the update and when it is coming. If you guys haven't checked out the last video, that has all the details for all of that. So make sure you check that out as well. But before I get into all of the events for September, make sure you leave a big thumbs thumbs up. Let's shoot for 300 likes on this video and see if we can get it as it really helps out the channel a lot. Believe it or not, every like, comment and view that you guys give does help out in a big way. So I appreciate all of you that do do all these things every time I post a video. So thank you to all of you and hopefully we will see this continue. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for all Battlefront 2 and Jedi Fallen Order updates in the future and turn on all notifications so you can stay up to date with all the latest news. Anyways, getting to it, the first event has actually already passed. Being the 11th already they're a little bit behind on posting the community calendar so the first event has passed which was from the 6th to the 8th and it was a reinforcement and vehicles event basically if you weren't playing over the last weekend the reinforcements and vehicles were all available in capital supremacy and galactic assault for 75 percent off their normal cost personally i'm not a big fan of this event i didn't like it when it was in the game i don't like them individually as vehicle events or reinforcement events but nonetheless we still keep getting them and they are a bit of a pain in my opinion but it is good for some people that do like to use the vehicles or the reinforcements and get those extra levels. So there is a bonus to it, but it's just personally, I'm not a big fan of these events. The next one is going to be from September 13th to the 15th, and this is the Boots on the Ground event. And again, no heroes or vehicles will be coming to aid you in that weekend's Battle Point event for Galactic Assault and Capital Supremacy. So basically, it's going to be all troopers and reinforcements. It's going to be like Blast, but on Galactic Assault and Capital Supremacy maps, there's going to be no vehicles, no heroes, so it's just going to be a straight up dogfight. This one, I'm interested to see how it goes. I am going to test it out. However, my favorite thing to do is play heroes, so I'm not sure how much enjoyment I'll get out of that mode in Capital Supremacy and Galactic Assault. This event could be a little bit hit or miss for me. I may end up playing some HVB just to get my lightsaber fix in, as well as playing as my favorite blaster heroes. So not really sure how I feel about this event just yet. I'll have to test it out and let you guys know after playing it for a little while. Anyways, moving into the third event, event from September 20th to the 22nd and this is the event that has me really really excited. This event is called No Match for a Good Blaster and it says that last month they introduced a new event called Elegant Weapons which if you guys don't remember was the lightsaber only heroes versus villains event where you could only play as lightsaber heroes in that mode. Well this month they're taking Han Solo's advice and trusting in their blaster with the No Match for a Good Blaster event. Basically you'll only be able to select blaster carrying heroes and villains for HVV during this weekend. So from the 20th to the 22nd, it is going to be a blaster only weekend. I'm really excited for this. I can't wait to see how it goes. It's going to be like really cool to see the dynamic change away from swing spamming lightsaber heroes to some skilled blaster gameplay. So let's see how this event goes. I'm actually more pumped for this than I was for the first two events in the boots on the ground and the reinforcement and vehicle events. This one I think will be quite cool. So we don't have to worry about any bugs or glitches like we did with the lightsaber event. It's straight up blasters. They're pretty balanced right now. So this is going to be a really fun event. I will be streaming over that weekend, which I don't normally do. I normally stream during the week, but this weekend from the 20th to the 22nd, I will be streaming. So keep an eye out for that. And I will be interested to see how it goes. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Anyways, moving on from that, September 25th is when we are going to be getting what they are calling the cooperation update. This update arrives on the 25th and brings with it two new game modes, co-op and instant action, which which if you didn't know, these are the PVE modes that they are adding. And also arriving during that update is going to be the brand new planet of Felucia and the Clone Commando reinforcement. Now I will have Clone Commando gameplay playing in the background, as most of you have probably seen from previous videos, but it's always cool to see that gameplay nonetheless because I'm super excited to get my hands on them. Obviously, again, it wasn't my footage being used, so shout out to River Thames and Cinematic Captures, as well as Massive G for getting this capture footage for us. So huge shout out to those guys. If you guys guys have been watching the Clone Commando gameplay, it is all from them, so make sure you check out their channels as well. Last but not least, the September 27th to the 29th event is going to be Triple XP in co-op. So to celebrate the release of co-op, they are giving a full weekend of Triple XP in the new game mode. Grab three of your friends and face off against enemy AI in the Clone Wars for a heroic co-op adventure. So Triple XP on the last weekend of September, but only for the co-op game mode once it's incorporated to the game after the 
latest update. So another good event there, if you guys want to level up any of your classes or heroes or anything like that, you can do it through co-op there. Now, one other thing to mention, there is a notice down the bottom. They are giving a midweek XP boost. Two times XP will be active every Wednesday across all game modes. So basically, if you guys want to level up, play on your Wednesdays, you'll get double XP for every single game mode. So heroes, villains, reinforcements, vehicles, and everything else you can imagine, as well as infantry, will be getting double XP on Wednesdays. So overall, a pretty solid month. I wasn't super keen on the reinforcement and vehicles event. The boots on the ground one is kind of, yeah, hit or miss with me. I'm not really sure how I feel about that just yet. I'll have to test it out and see. The no match for a good blaster event sounds really fun, and that one I'm looking forward to 100%. The 25th, which is going to be the cooperation update, that is going to be the highlight of the month for sure. Getting our hands on clone commandos, Felucia, and the two new game modes, and then triple XP to finish off the month. Overall, a fairly solid month of events. Let me know down in the comments what you think of all of these, and I will look forward to seeing all your answers down there. Anyways, for now, I am going to get out of here. I appreciate all of you guys tuning in. I will leave you with the gameplay here, and may the force be with you, always. Forces have lost control of the commander.